Hello everyone, ladies, gentlemen, this is the Trio Podcast alongside Mr. Curves and special guest Chompy. I'm your host, Who's Bubble, thanks for checking in. Welcome to episode 52, it's a pleasure to be here. Curves, how we doing? I'm doing fine, except I'm sick. You're sick? Yeah. I can tell by your rasp. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, I hope you feel better. Very observant. Hey, you left your cough drops in my basement. I hope you know that. Oh shit, that's where they went. I was looking for Dang. them this morning because my throat was like so dry. I could deliver you a package, maybe. Probably not actually. This uh, is present. <laughs> welcome guys to another great episode. As you can see, our logo is different. Uh it would have been last week as well, but we're recording this in advance. And you're probably wondering, where is uh, the intro? We just started right away. Well, perfection takes time, right? And this new trio intro is going to be coming out. It's a brand new song, uh, and we're just waiting on it. And uh, yeah, we're hyped up, but we are here with the man himself who is making the song. And once it comes out, we'll put it right away on the intro there. So, please welcome Chompy Banana. Hello. How's it going? It's going well. Let's go. With the men of self, Chompy Banana. You might have heard of him before. Yep. Um, Bubble's cousin. And I've been on his main channel, Who's Bubble, for quite a while. Even before the videos that you see posted. <laughs> <laughs> the secret private videos. Yeah. Yeah, he was here before. Uh, he was on the Realm episode as well, hidden there. So if you want to check that Been one out. Been there since day one. True. But yeah, we're going to talk about you. So, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do for fun? Go ahead and introduce yourself to the trio audience. Okay, so I, I'd say overall I'm a very creative person, and I have a lot of appreciation for the world around me. So I like music, of course, a lot. I'm making this song, and I actually want to be a music producer. So I guess that's maybe a little more than a hobby, but I've definitely liked music for a while now, for my whole life. And um, yeah, I'm also into poetry, which is kind of similar to lyric writing. So I guess that makes sense. Yeah, true. yeah. Um, you will see Tupac was a poet. <laughs> um, anything art related? Um, Do you like painting? Into sports too. Yeah, yeah, I like painting, I like baseball, archery. Uh, I think I'm pretty versatile. Yeah. Right, that does sound pretty versatile. <clears throat> Wait, so you <clears throat> like archery and music? <laughs> I swear, if you bring up, if you bring up, like, if you bring up Vicha. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, I don't know if that was real or not, so. Vicho was real. <laughs> Screw the haters. <laughs> we interviewed a real K-pop oh. star. <laughs> oh, and I like traveling a lot. Yeah, that's fun. <clears throat> oh, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. God. I know, Gus. Gus' voice is on the last thread. Yeah. But yeah, well, nice to hear this. Uh, we welcome you. But uh, Thank you. Oh. What made you get into music? Oh, shit, I suck at asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's a good question. Um, so the real full story to this is, I think, something that I want to save for something that I release independently because it's more personal. But I will give you the brief rundown that um, essentially in 2017, I was going through a pretty tough time in my life just trying to you know figure out who i am and why you know i belong in the world i guess and um just trying to find like purpose and i struggled with that for a year like just trying to find what it is about me that's like worth remembering and um about a year later in 2018 um there was a song on the radio that you might have heard called Believer by Imagine Dragons and this song like just spoke to me like never before I had heard it before but it never really 
hit like it did then. It was, it was just a, a spring day. I was in the car, um, you know, just li listening to the radio. And I, I mean, if you look at the lyrics, like it just it just hit every every nerve, you know. So that definitely, no pun intended, or kind of intended, struck a chord with me. And I it didn't I didn't know immediately that that's what I wanted to do, but it became pretty clear later on that I wanted to make music of my own that would impact people the same way it impacted me. So yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, I mean music is a big uh art form that can make you feel like so many different ways. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a universal language. There's yeah. Infinite things you can do with it. Why do you think that song in particular stood out to you? Hmm. Wow. That's a good question. Cause I don't know. Cause it, it's not even like it's my favorite song or anything. I mean, it's kind of motivational. First yeah. things first, I'm going to say all the words inside my head. Oh, <laughs> cut that out. That sounds like, that sounds like dog <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. I think, I mean, if you hear the, um, like the lyrics, they sound almost angry at first, but the the whole message is that there's still hope and that the pain is worth it and it does lead to success. And I think that that's what I needed to hear being in my own state of like bitterness and right. brokenness, just kind of feeling lost. Cause that's something I forgot to mention before is that, you know, I, I said there was like a year journey in between when I felt like I wanted to find my purpose. And when I heard that song in a new way, um, and throughout that year, I was just like turning to every little thing. And I did fi find what I wanted for a little bit, but it kind of faded out. And like uh, lost its flavor, so to speak. Um, and so it was like this feeling of brokenness that then was success temporarily. And then went back into an even deeper state of brokenness. And so I, I just became so bitter. I was so rude to everyone. And I was just not like on my journey to becoming who I wanted to be. I got further from that until this song. And so this, you know, just that whole vibe of, you know, feeling dragged down and then finding hope and finding light and being brought back up was, you know, definitely deep for me it's a tough journey man for sure uh, yeah i i find it hard to get stick to something because you get sick and tired of all that repetition and yeah. uh you know i guess that song yeah. kind of acted as a guide it was kind of cool how you chose that one yeah it's like it's first you're gonna like... say all the words inside your head you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like I, I don't know i felt like the song saw me right where I was, you know, like it came down to my level and said, there's a way out of this. For sure. You heard that on the radio, you said? Yep. Just a random spring day in the car radio. Love that. It's nice. All yeah. right. So, what's it like creating music, Curbs asks. Okay. Um, so, in general... Like, I, I wouldn't say, I mean, I guess the same process applies to the trio theme, but in general, I, I could, so, okay, here's one thing that I can do, which is pretty cool, I think. Like, at this point in my um, aspirations to become a music producer, um, I can almost, like, force a melody to just be created. Like, I can will it to happen, but I think it's a lot better um, and a lot more natural when it's natural and I don't force it into being. So there are just random times throughout my day where um, it, it could be totally random or there can be an event that sparks it, but a melody will just pop into my head and maybe some lyrics too. And I make sure to write it down. I've got a huge note notes page on my phone with all my ideas and uh, so I write down the date, 
the name of the song or like what I think it's going to be called, the feel of it, um, potential inspirations that I can look to for like the sound and the style, um, any notes that I have figured out, some lyrics, just and all, overall like what the message of the song is. So yeah, a lot of my, my songs start <laughs> in notes. Um, but I, I have it all in my head. It's really tough to explain because it's like, how do I have albums worth of songs just in my head? Um, but they're there. And I think of the instrumentation, uh, potential like shifts in mood, uh, all these different things. And usually I'll hear the chorus first, but that's not always the case. And sometimes I'll hear different ideas on different dates that are originally different songs, but then I realize, hold on, these can go together and create one song that's like very complex. Right. Um, so yeah. That's I mean, that's, that's, pretty, how, that's, that's very ta <clears throat> talented. Oh shit, I just cannot speak. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. But it's... Do you ever have dreams on uh, your music? What? Do you ever dream or like hear things about your music in your head? Um, what do you mean, like at night dream or just in general? Do I hear daydreams, it? night dreams, whatever, man? Wait, what? what so, are you, like, uh... yeah, like I, I have an idea in my head of how I want it to sound, and sometimes it's like very complete and full, and there, it's been happening pretty recently. I'd say like within the past few months where I'm like, you know, hearing this song in my head and then I realize for a moment that it's not a real song yet. And that's just so surreal to me because, you know, it's it sounds as um, professional as these other songs that I'm hearing on the radio and, you know, other songs in general. It doesn't have to be on the radio, but it's like, it's just insane to think that over time my ideas are getting better and they're getting more mature it, it's just it's insane i i don't know how to explain it entirely but the songs are there and they're just dying to escape my head and you know begin to become a reality that's awesome yeah the famous quote paul mccurney how'd you write let it be i had a dream yeah. you know I don't think that was Paul McCartney. Oh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And um, one more thing, just because, you know, you said dream, and this made me think of this, is that Oh no. <laughs> recently this is not a very good thing, but I've been going to sleep later than I should. But ironically, some of my best ideas <laughs> have come when I'm, like, just so tired. You know, they just like. I mean, I like staying up late. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you've always been a morning person, Choppy. Yeah, that I, stood I, out to me when I knew you. I'd say I, I definitely am, and I mean, with school, I've been going to sleep later too, which is not good. I'd rather go to sleep early and wake up early. Um, but sometimes, like, man, I'll just be like about to go to bed. And then this whole stinking symphony just comes into my head, and I, I gotta write it down. I, cause I've learned that you can't just skip it. You can't just ignore it, cause you're gonna forget it in the morning. So, dude, that's see, I hate when that happens. So I got a yeah. little voice memo app on my phone, and I just hum a melody. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Nice. It works. <clears throat> yep. I yeah. Voice memos, notes. Because if you lose that, if you lose that one melody that you're like, you're like, oh man, could have yep. been something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, one more thing I want to mention, I guess before our next question, is um, creativity, like, you know, the natural process that I like, the not forced creativity, I've noticed that it comes in waves and this has been so apparent on my notes page because, like I said, I write down all the dates as well. Um, and so 
sometimes I'll have like maybe a month long or you know a few weeks long drought of just no ideas at all and then you know after that just a whole wave of ideas will come like for example let me actually look at the notes page so in august i had three song ideas which is not that many at this point um and then september hit and i had four song ideas in three days so like you know it's crazy to see like the different swells of song ideas and i think right now we're in a, a surge again because i've i had a song idea this morning yesterday morning and the morning before that so yeah but if you're if you want to create your own music or you know i'm talking to you guys and anyone in the audience um don't be discouraged if you feel like you've hit a wall with creativity because it is short lasting and oftentimes when you come back from a break your ideals will be a lot better than they would have been if you just like tried to force them out like for example on november 18th three song ideas in one day which is Damn. my record that's good <laughs> yeah and they're not just like little things like that I hear on one instrument either. They're like pretty complex and you know, I hear all the instruments and the whole vibe of the song. Like I, I hear fractions of the final product. I got a big question. Um, so like I was thinking like C418 in my mind, like how many songs would he make in a day? But like also would you, uh, as of now, are you sticking to instrumentals or vocals or what? What are you doing? Okay, so that's a good question. And for the trio theme, there will not be any vocals, just to stay consistent with the older theme. Um, and I don't know how to sing, but I definitely do want my voice in other songs that I make going forward, like you know, ones that'll be hey. on albums. Um, like you want to just like scream your name like you're Metro Boomin. Jumping, jumping. <laughs> no, but well, I want to learn how to sing, to so that I can you know, get my voice on there, and I don't want to have to use like auto tune or voice Wait, editing or anything. Are you like, are you, like taking shots of people here? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I didn't mean to. But um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I I think it actually fits with your style, Michael. But. Yeah, I like shifting yeah. away from it though, slowly. Yeah, yeah. The most auto tune is Holy World, if anybody wants to know. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Um, so, and I have been slowly learning some techniques for singing. And don't ask, because I will not sing right now. But... <laughs> they always say that. Give me a, give me a line. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but. Something that also helps with singing is whistling, which I do a lot. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. um, I think that's pretty cool because that's a skill that not a lot of musicians have. But I, I whistle every day. I think also playing the trumpet as my main instrument helps with that a lot. You know, those, those kind of bounce off of each other. Um, so yeah, there definitely will be vocals in the main songs that I create for like my own albums, but um, not for the trio theme and probably not for some songs, even on my main albums, like, you know, the interludes or whatever there is. Um, and even in songs with lyrics, it's not like there's going to be lyrics every single second of the song. So I'll have instrumentals within songs with lyrics. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, you don't always have to sing, too. I mean, my friend Marco Kerbs knows. He, uh, he's doing yeah. a little lo-fi music. He's getting, like, uh, sound bits and other people. Yeah, I mean, you can just do instrumentals, man. Or you can just like, get other people yeah. to sing it. Yeah, I, I think it'd be cool to experiment, too, with, like, 
I don't know, like concepts for video games and movies. Yeah, because those are mainly instrumental. Yeah, but um, when you think about like songs that, you know, the, the regular songs that you hear like on the radio or on your Spotify playlist, mm -hmm. they usually have music. And or at least for me, I, they usually do. <laughs> or have lyrics. Did I say music? Yeah. I meant lyrics. Yeah, you never really hear like uh, theme songs on the radio. Theme songs don't really Imagine lyrics. like Batman yeah. theme song just pops up. Yeah. I'm jamming. Yeah, and <laughs> that sounds like, sound like a cat getting run over. <laughs> and like I was saying, like, it's not really black or white in terms of lyrics or no lyrics because I want my songs to really be like their own stories and not just, you know, I, I don't want to put low effort into it or just have it be like everything else. I want to really take my time with it and yeah, tell a story, express myself and celebrate basically like what music is, which is this universal language that can't always explain in words for sure and if there's anybody who like ignores you you could use that as a song oh <laughs> what do you mean just 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 a idea it's what do you mean ignores me then um like if somebody ignores you when you try to talk to them you could use that as a song idea oh <laughs> just yeah idea. i mean there may or may not be song ideas similar to that already <laughs> see see uh a lot of people have a lot in common we're all closer than we think i think yeah. everybody on earth is more similar than we think we distance ourselves so much for mm -hmm. no reason sometimes i see like a meme that's like oddly specific but like really relatable and i'm like there's no way other people like experience that <laughs> yeah i'm glad that those are gaining traction and popularity there are like youtube shorts that do that too it's very funny. Did you guys see Matt Pat's video on YouTube Shorts? How it's killing YouTube. Oh, no, I didn't. Apparently, it's disconnecting the audience from the actual, uh, like, channels. So when you see a video, you just associate uh, it with the trend. You don't really associate it with the person. So people are distancing hmm. from the actual creators and just random video skits and whatever. Huh. I think YouTubers are getting less views because most people are using the shorts. It's like when people think of TikTok, they just think of like the trends, like name 12 TikTokers. You can't, you know what I mean? But like YouTubers, easy. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It's a little thing. Well, yeah, I, mean, I mainly YouTube. use Who knows? YouTube. So I, I definitely do pay attention to the channels. I, I'd say I mainly watch you know, people who I know. You know? Yeah. But yeah, like, back I, to the... Rarely... Okay, yeah, let's get yeah. back on topic. We can talk about this. What know. tools do you use? We heard you should Logic, right? What? Um. So for this one, I'm using GarageBand, but it's very similar to Logic. And I took a class over the summer that used Logic. Or, you know, we could either use Pro Tools or Logic. I ended up using Logic. And GarageBand looks the exact same as logic um but i'd say logic is definitely the better one and i think soon i might be getting pro tools or logic but since i'm already kind of familiar with logic GarageBand was definitely a good move for this um but yeah logic is definitely better than garage band but garage band is nothing to be sneezed at for sure I'm curious, like, how many of, like, those big songs were used GarageBand? I'm curious. Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, man, it's tough to say. Because there are a lot of things you can do to edit um, artificial sounds. So, like, for example, none of the instruments that I'm using are, like, things that I've recorded. Just because I don't have um, a microphone first of all, to record any of this. Um, I have a trumpet, but again, no microphone, no saxophone, no strings, oh no flute, Sorry. no trombone, no synth, yeah. or I guess synths are, you know, no, no keyboards. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, just give you a little inside look at the instrumentation there. Uh, no clarinet. But um, there are a lot of things you can do on GarageBand, which I like, to make it sound more realistic. And they have this, this thing called automation. So you can edit the volume for like dynamics. You can edit velocity, which is definitely one of my favorite things. That's kind of like the strength of a note, like the attack of it. So um, if you mess with the velocity instead of just keeping it all the same, and then you can kind of add some expression to it. Um, you can add pitch bends, which is very cool. And I made use of that in the theme. Um, yeah, there's just a ton of little things you can do that just make it sound real and more professional. Like reverb, panning, all these different things. Yeah, the reverb does a, does a wonders. Yeah. But yeah, so what was your vision going into this song in particular? I mean, what were you thinking of? Yeah. So that's a good question because it kind of relates to what you were asking me the other day about uh, what should I make, you know, the intro be on YouTube. Um, and so I thought of that first. I thought of the original theme and then I thought of how it would look in, in terms of like actually you know how would you physically see it like what would this be like the background music for um so i told you i i think it's like about a guy on a bike just kind of going through the neighborhood on a nice sunny day um just really taking in all of his surroundings mr and it's just like a busy community <laughs> yeah. it's like it's just a busy community with a lot going on and it's just a happy day overall and so the the song begins with um this little or this like very light flute and um what is it uh oh a synth synth chords um that are like very gentle almost like the sun is rising like the sun's coming out uh, and then the saxophones build on top of that and then the trumpets build on top of that and really bring all the energy into the song um, and then it's like it, from the time the trumpets enter the energy is just like through the roof because you know I, I'm just imagining this guy like pedaling at like a pretty medium speed not like blazing down the roads but at a speed that's like I don't know, it's just, it's perfect to, again, take in all your surroundings and just look around, see the birds chirping, the sun shining, everyone's outside having fun. Would you say this, uh, this outside area is like a urban, suburban, or? Okay, I think it's definitely suburban. Um, yeah, because. <laughs> There's got to be some <laughs> trees, enough. right? Yeah, 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 I mean, it's, yeah, it sounds like a nature vibe, like the yes. tree and trio. And you bring up a good point there because um, a lot of the inspiration for this was the name of the podcast, right? Like, I, it has to sound like the trio if it's. I mean, yeah, like everything was like leaf based. We had like leaves everywhere, and it was called like trio. So, like, yeah, yeah. I don't think yeah, the tree could... represents three anymore, though. Yeah, yeah. It's something because uh, R.I.P. Ultimate Trend. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. So I definitely I wanted it to sound like this just lush environment that's vibrant and alive, and you can see that anywhere you look, right? So the trees are bright green, the birds are colorful and chirping. Um. Yeah, the sky is blue. No clouds. The skies are red, and the so is blue. Out. Wait, what? No, that's 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 a lyric from one of his songs. Glitchy boy song. Yeah, so it's it's very exciting. Uh, and there's a point in the song where the mood kind of switches a little bit. Um, 
into something that's a little more low key at first, but then it builds up into what sounds like the first part of the song. And then there's like a screaming high trumpet note and then a big chord to finish it off. I think I might have to get an animator to help with this. This is. <laughs> I mean, there's always Fiverr, man. This is going to be good. I, w- I want this to be a nice intro. And, uh, the logo we did yeah. wonders on. Uh, we'll talk about that the episode before this, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but overall, it sounds like nature. It sounds like community. And it just, it sounds like a vibe. That's good. Just like the Trino podcast. Yeah. So you said there's a reference within the old song from the new mm. one, right? Perhaps. Yep. So a little riff. in that section, second check, the yeah, second section I was talking about with the, the saxophone kind of taking over and soloing, um, there's a part at the very end before the energy builds up again that sounds like the, the first thing you hear in the current theme. Or I guess the old theme at this point when you're watching. Um, and, and I changed up the the rhythm a little bit, and the chord is not the exact same, so hopefully it doesn't get taken down. But uh, yeah, I definitely made sure to reference that at some point, just so that it's still familiar, but not the exact same. Love that. And yeah, Johnny Carson, don't sue us. Uh... <laughs> We don't mean harm. <laughs> yeah, I think it's... You can distinguish it enough to the point where you can tell what it's referencing, but it doesn't sound the exact same. All right. Can't wait to hear it. So we can't hear any of it yet? Nope. And that's a thing that I think the audience should know that Bubble the and Curves have not heard it yet. The first oh, listen yeah. will be the trio audience. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh. I guess I'm popular. (laughs) But I can reassure you guys that it is going very well. And I've made a a lot of progress in these past few days. Oh, which is another thing I kind of want to mention is that this song has been like so troublesome for me because, well, first of all, I didn't have GarageBand for a while. I actually recently got a new Mac, which is why any of this is possible. Um, but man, I've been busy. Like I've never been busy before and this song should have been done a long time ago, but well, making the most of what we have, the time we have, um, and it's finally coming to life. Yeah. So just one more thing I want to say about that with like timing and everything is that for so long, I was like waiting for this this moment, this stretch of time where like I'd finally have time to work on the theme and I was waiting for that and waiting for that and it just didn't come because life gets so busy and I think that that's important an important thing to say for especially people who are first starting to create music where they want to is that oftentimes there's not going to be that stretch of time you're not going to find this huge block of time where like you can dedicate that whole thing to just making music and in order to take on these big projects that really do take a lot of time even if it's like you know 30 40 second song um you you've got to split it up and you've got to reprioritize things which i've learned very well in these past few weeks because i realized that this moment that I'm waiting for is not going to come um, because of just the way that life is. And that's not a bad thing, but you definitely, if you're creating a song, you have to put that first sometimes. And so like, for example, instead of um, me trying to do, uh, me trying to work on the song after my homework, I do the song before homework. And hmm. Everything still gets done because you kind of you kind of are forced to get stuff done, but if you leave the creative stuff last, then it's not going to get done. So, 
push yourself to make those adjustments because they will pay off and also mm-hmm. you're going to feel better about yourself overall and I think that what delayed this, this song even more is um, the fact that I wasn't working on it um, not just in the sense that it wasn't physically being created um, but like I also wasn't always motivated to do it and I, I think it, that that's so interesting because it's like the feeling that I had led to more of that feeling you know this feeling of like I don't want to do this by me not doing it I didn't want to do it even more if that makes sense so like it was like my motivation was draining itself but if I prioritized that earlier and just did that sooner yeah, then yeah, yeah. I would be able to get more done overall and just feel better so yeah that's that's my advice if you're struggling with what to do first and when to do it. That's that's very relatable. I feel that yeah. Goes for anything really. Yeah yeah, not just music. But yeah, uh, Garage Band. I just want to talk about some hits that are on Garage Band. Surprising, surprising songs you may have never heard that are made in Garage Band. Umbrella by Rihanna. What? Use Garage wow. Band. In the In Rainbows by Radiohead. Uh, uh, actually, the song, I don't know that one. The song Nude, Radiohead. Pride by Kendrick oh. Lamar. I think I've heard of that. The list goes on. <laughs> Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd. I didn't even know Garage Band was uh, a thing back then. Yeah, I was like, I was like, wait, what the fuck? I was about to say, what the fuck? Uh, hmm. Hold up. They used numerous sound effects through their eighth studio release. That all begins with the sound. It says it says Garage Band was created in two thousand four. I think was that a little bit before Pink Floyd, a little bit after uh, Pink Floyd. Uh, what is this list? Okay. That was a different list I looked on, sorry. Yeah, but wait. the ones before that, the ones before that were all using GarageBand. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> I clicked the next page and it was a different list. Oh. Uh, they tricked me, guys. I get it. Thanks. Let It Be was made dope. in GarageBand. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, relating to the theme song, the original trio theme was Johnny Carson's intro, for mm-hmm. all you who know. And uh, I really do honor him. Uh, he is a big inspiration here for the intro, for the jokes. Uh, I really love Doc Severson. He's a trumpet player for the Tonight Show band back then. Yo, wait, because we're getting, like, a new logo, does this mean, like, our old logo t-shirts are going to be, like, more rare? Oh, yeah. Probably, yeah. Yeah, so uh, anybody who actually bought, the one person who bought a t-shirt is going to maybe <laughs> make a profit. <laughs> We should run a sale curves. Last, last trio. Last chance. Last chance. But yeah, Doc Severson has to say. Big inspiration. Great trumpet player. One of my favorite trumpet players. Look up to him. Big inspiration. Yeah, Chomp, who are your inspirations? I don't think we asked you that. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna. I could go for hours talking about who I'm inspired by but i'm gonna name three Mm -hmm. i think two are pretty obvious but i'll try to find a third one real quick um okay 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 so first of all as we've already heard definitely imagine dragons um because they they were the first like real band that i ever followed or you know the first band that i ever really followed I definitely liked music and I liked certain songs, but I didn't really care who it was made by. I just, you know, cared that the song existed. But Imagine Dragons was definitely the first band that I got very close with, and I'm still close with them today. Um, then 
no surprise if you know me surfaces has definitely been um a huge inspiration Love ever them. since like 2019 um i remember still remember this day on skype believe it or not when, <laughs> uh bubble sent sunday best and there was like no discussion of it at all and which is why i thought it was so like weird i was like why is nobody talking about this but i just decided to listen to the song and i was just blown away and uh, i'm glad that i found sunday best before <laughs> you know tiktok took over because i like yeah. i think that song was like it's it, like they had barely any views right it was like two weeks after it came out and yeah. so i'm proud to say that i'm an original surfaces fan an and, og you know they're number one on my spotify wrapped they've got multiple songs there um and i'm excited for season six um and i think it's important to point out that surfaces is so wildly different from imagine dragons but they still you know have that um have the potential and the possibility to work together and inspire me um which i I think that's pretty cool because not all music has to sound the same um in order to have an impact on someone and i think that that's contributed to my song ideas being such an insane variety like there's some jazzy kind of stuff there's some pop some rock some blues stuff um some like wild west sounding stuff it's it's insane uh, I should, uh, no, never mind. Oh my never god. Mind. <laughs> Is that a horse? They're frogging your throat. No, no, I was supposed to be like, with an arrow. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I, I would be so much better at that if I wasn't sick right now. <laughs> There's some like spacey sounding stuff and um, some Latin stuff. Just scrolling through the notes right now. Um,. Some very emotional stuff, some very fun stuff, a little bit of both. Um, some slow, romantic stuff. Yeah, I just want to say something um, real quick. I was listening to this uh, Rick ahead. Astley album yesterday, and you know, of course, everybody knows like one song by him. Uh, but I was just listening to them, and I was like, "Wait, hey, I know this song." And apparently, like, I knew like five of his songs already. I just never actually added them to my playlist. Mm. They were really good. And this one song stood out. There, all of his songs are like really hype eighties, like funk, like I just it's cool stuff. But um, then this one song stood out. It was like violin. It was really different. I really like that one. It's uh, mm. very mellow, relaxed. Yeah. So you could always differentiate. Yeah, and it's cool to see like these inspirations, like Imagine Dragons and Surfaces, expanding their horizons. And I think uh, this is pretty cool because the last album that Imagine Dragons released called mercury is um i'd say a lot more relaxed than their other albums a lot more mature and same thing with surfaces like you can tell that or their their last album was hidden youth and usually surfaces is known as like this beachy kind of tropical band but they switched it up and the whole theme of hidden youth was the desert so it's cool to see um both of those bands expand at the same time and again that's that has a great impact on me um you know just being able to be bold with your music and do whatever it takes to convey the message for sure yeah oh yeah oh and i still gotta go over that one last um inspiration Oh man, see, I can't, I can't pick one. So you know, I'll, I'll just list a few real quick. Um, Michael Jackson, the Beatles, <laughs> AJR. <laughs> Don't even try, kids. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen, Billy Joel, Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry is um, amazing. He inspired the Beatles. Stevie Wonder. 
One Republic. I think that's good for now. Lately, I've been I've been losing sleep. <laughs> oh God! So you can't choose a one then? Nah, but definitely, Imagine Dragons and Surfaces are huge to me. Uh, yeah, definitely my two favorite bands, like by a long shot. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about. It's good that, that you like, you like the new, uh, new bands as well. I found it hard to connect. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely. Curves, can you shut up? Um, yeah, I don't like all modern music, but I don't also like the the perspective that like, oh, it's either you like the new music or you like the old music, and you can't like both. You know, because I I like the monkeys, I like the Beatles, like you do, uh, Bubble, but I also like um, One Republic, Ed Sheeran, uh, Coldplay, Mad Dragons, whatever. Oh yeah, Frank Sinatra. Forgot to mention him. Good old Frank. That's a good one. Bing Bing Crosby, I've been liking lately. He's like Frank Sinatra. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Kanye. How, how I does, do not listen to Kanye. <laughs> that does not relate to, <laughs> to Big Crosby or Frank Sinatra. Oh, Kanye's pretty good, man. Oh, shit, I just broke my desk. What? <laughs> Dude, what is just that? on the spot. Alright, I uh, fixed it. I remember that happened to me once, or like my microphone like broke mid-podcast. Like I remember apart. one time when we were playing a game and all of a sudden I hear like a giant collapsing noise and you're like, my desk oh, just yeah. collapsed. <laughs> yep. But yeah, well, what were we saying? Um, Frank Sinatra. We were talking about yeah, Kanye. I was just listening to some of my other inspirations. Which again, I can go into depth about that, but I think Imagine Dragons and Surfaces have been my biggest inspirations by far. They've impacted my um, variety of music, the overall feel of it, um, yeah, and just my, I'd say mainly my willingness to just be bold with it, and yeah, yeah, just go for it. I'm curious, do you like any rap or rhymes? I, I like some rap. Wait, rap or what? Rap or rhymes? Yeah, I, I, I listen to a little bit of Johnny Cash, um, with rap, I don't listen to a ton of rap, but um, I, I feel like rap is a very um, hated genre, but I think that that's because of individual artists, and I don't think that people should judge rap based on those people, because there's a lot of good rap out there that, um, I think it's the opposite. You know, that generally has good messages. I feel um, like everybody loves rap. No. Yeah, I'd say um, younger people usually. Except like if you're like a more. guy. If you, except if you're a guy in your fifties named like Henry. <laughs> yeah, but. I think Drake I, is overrated. I appreciate rap, but I just don't listen to a ton of it. Slim Shady man. Oh yeah, Eminem. Yeah, I think Run DMC. Great rapper. That's like on the borderline rap. That's good. I can swallow a bottle of alcohol and a feel like Godzilla. I should I should like sing a bunch of songs with just this voice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, can Rip you time. do the vocals on the theme? Yeah. It's, it's time for the trio. Let's gather around. <laughs> Well, I think that's gonna do it uh, oh. for episode fifty-two. I what other words do you have to say, John? Oh man, um, when it comes to making music or just being creative, follow your heart. Okay, don't conform to what other people do. That doesn't mean you have to, you know, have that mindset that oh you're different and nobody can help you because you're doing this completely new thing. But like. Don't let your 
dreams and ideas be suppressed by what other people are doing or saying um because that that's how all good creative projects start right is this unique idea that someone has that has never been done before um and even if it has been done before the fact that it's coming from you makes it so much better you know so don't um don't be swayed or you know don't feel forced to conform to any specific thing because when it comes to creativity the possibilities are endless well said <laughs> thank you sky's the limit fellas yeah, as, well, there is no limit as said in the uh trail yeah. in in the realm episode the realm yeah <laughs> Who knows if that'll ever come back? Foreshadowing. But yeah, Curves, any last words? Uh. Bro. You're gonna have to cut that out, man. You're gonna have to cut that out. You're gonna have to cut that out. I just made you do extra work. But, uh, yeah, I think this was a great podcast. This was a great episode. Formative. Yeah, so if you ever check out Chompy, yeah. we'll leave links in the description if, for I'm his I'm excited uh, to hear the theme song information. when it's ready, because uh, it's been hyped up. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to set Thank my standards happy, like low. So that I can what? Be... My standards are low. What? <laughs> what? So it's kind of like an insult. No, no, my standards are going to be low so that it's good. Well, oh, oh, so it can't be good Bro, if you what? have high standards? My standards are going to be high so that it's bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cut that out. All right. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Uh, Frank, I was going to say something, but then I started yapping. Oh, yeah. What are your socials, John? Do you want to share any social media? Um, <laughs> I have no social media right now. Yo, literally me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So you don't want any links in the description, or um, I guess if you want to link like my YouTube, you could. But isn't it like all private? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forty subs, no videos. All right, we'll link his YouTube, guys. That's pretty impressive, honestly. <laughs> he has more subs than Zapzos somehow. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. And Unnecessary shot at Zabzo. <laughs> <laughs> and say the like, Uh, have a good night. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. I just realized this is going to be two weeks after Christmas. <laughs>